Yeah, let's see what part of this Becco works. And I don't know what's actually wrong with it. Um, it's from one of my customers, so. Uh, but it's the first time it's ever gone wrong. Although, look at the state of this door. Yep, there was gel and liquid about. Try it on A first. Can I do anything? I'm going to guess at somewhere. Oh. This, this is proper like dodgy, so actually maybe, give me a second. Right, let's try now, we we'll switched it on, I think we're on A. Yeah, that's engaged. Is it? It's a bit weird this door. This is that way, you know. I was going to redo this and do it so it's the other way. I don't think it's reaching. Oh. There we go. Can. Yeah, look at that. Uh, that's where it's from, originally. That is a local retailer. Um, so this must have been like... Um, uh, he does. He deals basically with hot points and Creed... Uh, he's a hot point Creed specialist. That's mostly what he sells. Um, uh, he does have the cheaper backhoes and he does some he does sell the odd Bosch as well. Right, so we're gonna test this. <coughs> it's um, a Bosch Silver Edition, series four, I like to call it. We've got a nice stiff card kettle plug on. Yeah, no, seriously. Why on earth a Bosch dishwasher supply with even the Siemens got this as well. Uh I don't know. So we're in me quick. So I'm gonna cancel it. So the main pump's down there. Um, when I take took it off, inspected it, couldn't see anything. Or the new one, then realised that the it's a bit different. Um, so there's absolutely no water there at all at the minute. So that's why it's making that weird noise. Oh, where's me? I think 
was that this wasn't draining. Um, actually, when the guy sold it, he just put unknown fault or something. So I just literally bid for it for like the cheapest bid. And um, then when I got there, he said, oh, it's not draining. Uh, right. Right, so quick, intensive, eco, and the speed perfect with eco, or intensive and speed perfect. Um, so that intensive 70 will pretty much be like my auto. Quick. I'm hoping it's not leaking by the pump because I've like put it back on and you watch part for you and say this is why it's not been rebuilt. But obviously, it's making sure it doesn't leak. But more importantly, I don't know if it's actually draining properly either. Now, I've done the tests of um, this, the way this drains is a bit different to like previous models. So, there's a pump there which kicks it round, but basically, it's basically attached to the actual bottom filter bit um freely Um, and yes to um, home laundry centre, Chris, Bill, all and what. Yeah, this has a heat pump. They realise it can't be well if it actually is broken, it's 136 quid to replace. Bloody shocking. But yeah, the actual Siemens at home is and because this has a plastic base. But not all plastic based brushes have the heat pump. I've got a Bosch classic on the corner that doesn't have the heat pump. I have a Siemens myself. That doesn't have a plastic base, but it will have that damn heat pump. I just know it will. Okay, so water's going around fine. I'm going to cancel it now.
Wait, what pebbles will I keep finding? Wait, what? This is weird. So, wait, it's what I can find then. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, so, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna push this back into place. I'm gonna stick the dishwasher tablet in. I'll leave it going on intensive and then see what I come back to tomorrow. Whether I've got a full, uh, dishwasher full of water or not. Or if it's completed the cycle. It's very weird. That's just weird. I mean, I've taken the pump off, don't get me wrong. That's it, there's nothing there. I looked at the filters, they were all fine. In fact, they were pretty much macula, actually. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, can't really put my finger on it. Uh, Chet's. Um, clearages, uh, blockages on the main pipe. Uh, nothing there. Right, that's weird. I was going to stick a new pump on, but... No, oh, if, uh, if that's the case... Um, yeah. <coughs> How weird. Uh, once it's back together, it will look beautiful because it is actually absolutely damage free. This pretty much, um, in a pretty clean condition. Um, I love the stainless. Such a rare model. Basic too, actually. Um, to be honest, it'd be one of those where I'd have it because I'm one for dishwashers where I will select intensive, then press start. A normal cycle, and just press start, and that's it. That's the only two programs I ever use. And then occasionally I put eco on if I've got like a load of just cups or something, or quick. Very rare. Um, pre rinse I only ever use to when I'm installing, that's it. Right. It's, it's a bit tempting actually just to go and take it home. Oh, well, I know, we'll have this instead of Siemens. But unfortunately, it's like, well, Frankie for ones, like this. And I'm gonna set this up for you, and I'm gonna press like this, and you just end up with like easy eco with half load and stuff. Oh, I do like the feature I've got. I've got extra dry on mine. Uh, I do love that feature actually. So um, it's probably one thing I can't get rid of. Right, yeah. See you again. Right, so that's this Bosch dishwasher. I'm gonna plug it back in. Back onto intensive. Um, right, so when I I plugged this in and left it running. However, when I came, uh, to reset to like two hours twenty-five. I've already got the water in it. And it's supposedly now reset the cycle. So I left here thinking it'd be all right. Because I've been left on a little bit of a wild goose chase. Because I was just left to believe that it's not draining. And then we found out it was draining and it worked and fine. However, I came back to it with the RCD trip for this. So, um, I'm wondering what has caused it to trip. Now, the detergent dispenser still hadn't opened. So, I'm wondering whether it was right at the start of the wash. I'll have either the main wash or it's gone during the pre wash. So, this is what we're going to now see what's happening. So, at a minute, it's in the pre wash mode. And I'm going to leave that going for the trips. So, we're going to see where it's tripping. And I'm wondering uh, if it actually tripped. Uh, at the start of the main wash, where it would start heating. Now, the, the, the flap opens about two minutes after it starts. And the main wash. 
sound. Right, so the first time I ran this, the surgical department didn't open and it tripped the RCD. And you see, this time we've now opened. The second time around, we have now, for some bizarre reason, pulled too much power through. We haven't tripped the RCD this time, we just tripped the whole of the uh, electrics. For some bizarre reason. So indeed, that's oh, cold, of course. But uh, yeah, a bit unusual that. So the nature of the complaint was it wasn't well. He didn't naturally know to be honest. I think he's come to it, found that it was full of water, then went right. It's buy a new dishwasher. Well, they're saying that he did repair his Samsung washing machine with his brushes, so... Hmm. An unusual one, that. Alright, so, obviously i got my Miele back in, and here's something I've been working on, which you will see working. And it's in the set IW912A1. Um, still needs its seal doing. And it's had its weight replaced because it's just started to crumble away. Oh, and the door hinge has been, I won't say replaced, um, it was falling away and I changed the bolts and there was no backing plates because Indesit decided to put 8mm locking nuts on which don't work for a door. Um, yeah, this is a bit weird, we're going to go this like a normal way. Right, uh, and the other thing I've got in new, which you will see, um, I'll get it working, but um, is this uh, Zanussi? Um, Aquafall? Well, it's an Aquafall kind of uh, range washing machine, but it's that flexi dose drawer as well. Um, it's pretty much the same as um, my girlfriend's mum's, I think, near enough. It's got like quick mitts, which is a 30 minute wash. Uh, shirts, 21 minutes? It said 20 yesterday, which is actually what it's supposed to be. Uh, very similar, but I'll just show you the problem. So I'll put it into service mode. You notice that buzz then? And then... There we go. So we can go the other way. We tried going that way before. But there's nothing. Look how long it's taking. Um, I'm going to go to error code. Oh, there you go. E52. 
Uh, got EF5, EF. Obviously, that's because they've shut the, not uh, pressed on about closing the door. Uh, E52, and EF5 is again to do with the motor. Now, if you noticed before, like I said, I put it on to. Oh no, that buzz would have been because it tried to fill water, and obviously it's not hooked up. Uh, that's, she said basically it filled up and didn't do anything. Now obviously with closing, I don't think this would actually just turn, it would just give up. Alright, so yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly look at the brushes, and I'm 999% sure. So yeah, this will be back on its way. Bearings are fine, obviously you can hear from there, pump's fine. Um, I'm going to presume everything else is fine on this. So yeah, you'll see that. Um, there's my Zanussi Z. I say mine. I say mine. These are all mine, but they get sold on. Uh, right. So these are ZWF one four two one. Uh, right. So the original motor um, on this, which is it's now got the motor bearings have gone, so it's very loud. Um, but then we put on a, another motor, which was fine right up until the point where it stripped the electric, which you will see yesterday. Um, so yeah, um, the other motor brushes were fine now, so it was arcing maybe because of the damaged thing. So I'm not risking it, and then I'm just going to put another motor on instead. <laughs> Other than that, it's a nice machine. I reckon it was obviously chucked out because it was stank as well, because of a load of mould. Um, it was still fully functional, even with the bad bearing motor. Um, so, what's that? Other than that, you'll see these two. Uh, you'll see that and that in the sit in play. You'll see that in the future now, so that's going to be a future project. Um, Oh, let me get the old this Bosch into play again. Cool. We'll get that into play with some of the other machines. Other than that, there's not much more you uh, haven't seen. There's a. Uh... There's a. Um, there's the broken dice and the broken bearings, and um, you can see the back of. Oh. Down there, maybe another Dyson where it's um, not locking, and then we've got this Crandy Grando, um, which will come to the conclusion the board is broken. I actually did this for a cust went out and looked at this for a customer, and then I'm just taken away. I want the heater off it anyway. It's a really, really nice condition. That's the shame about it because my other Grando that I got in is in a poor condition in comparison to that, but fully works. <coughs> That Bosch is up for sale. I haven't even tried that yet. You'll see this at some point when I get round to it. I've kind of scrubbed it up a bit just to see what kind of condition it is. It's still in poor condition. Oh well. 